Welcome to the Funko Illuminati, my name is Sean, and today's episode is going to be about the Tokyo Toy Bundle. This just came in the mail today, uh, as you can see from the bottom here, looks like somebody uh, decided to kick it. I mean, a bunch of damage here and along here. Hopefully it's in better shape than it looks, at least the Funko wise. So we're going to take my knife out, and we're going to open it up and take a look and see what the condition of these things are. Alright, so there we go. And we slice down the bottom here. And that should just pop open like that. Now, the reason I'm opening it from this side is because the other side actually has a bunch of paperwork. It's just going to be a hassle to try to get off. So, as you can see, as I'm sure everyone has online, it's a bunch of paper. So, Let's take a look and see what the condition of these are. All right, so. All right. Let's just rip that paper off, right? Who needs that? I mean, they've already seen the worst for the worst for the wear. So let's see what the condition of these are. Well. Not too promising, but I mean, could be worse. As you can see from the inside of this, looks like Kato took the beating of it. So let's take a look at these and take these out. We'll uh, start with Kato here since he looks like the worst of the wear. All right, so there is Kato. As you can see, the box is damaged. Definitely will not be able to trade this for the life of me. So we're just going to put Kato off to the side. Now let's take a look at Ratfink. Let's hope he dealt better. Um, slight creasing on the top, but I mean overall it doesn't look too bad. Uh, there's a crease along here and a little here, but I mean overall looks pretty good. Alright, next up is going to be Ultraman. Now it looks like the bottom ones here did not take any damage, which is good. Uh, there we have Ultraman. And box is in good condition. I mean, aside from a little little tear there. Well, a little bent, but I mean, nothing to worry about. No creases. Not bad. Good. So, it looks like Kato's the only one who got his ass kicked. Uh, and Pop and Pez Pete now. Again, good shape. So, the only one that really took a beating was Kato. Which I'm not that upset about. So let's just move this down here. So there we go. I mean, overall, not bad. Would have preferred them in better shape, but I mean, at least, you know, the one that did get damaged was Kato. So, all right. So overall, uh, Looks like we got the chrome rat fink, which is nice. Um, you know, uh, I'm kind of disappointed. I'm kind of curious now. I'm going to try contacting uh, Tokyo Toy and see what we can do about Kato here. Because honestly, I mean, uh, I kind of would like it in better condition if possible. I mean, if not, it'll sit on a shelf. I mean, at least I'll be able to enjoy it. Um, I wonder if anybody else has had similar issues. I mean... It looks like Tokyo Toy went with another company for their shipping, and obviously they cut corners. Well, again, hopefully things will uh, we'll find out, see what happens. Maybe uh, I'll be able to get this rectified. If not, oh well. Anyways, um, like I said, at the end of every, so, every uh, episode, I'm going to do a 360 uh, display. So take care, and remember, enjoy collecting. Bye now.